Hey everyone. All right. So today I want to talk about sway, right? It turns out that half of you or almost half of you have sway in your golf swing. Now, one of the main reasons why this occurs is today and nowadays we sit a lot. And what happens when we sit is our hip flexors and our lower back become overactive or tight and our abs and our glutes are underactive or weak. Now there's a lot of different ways to, to develop glute strength. And ideally it's through squat and deadlift variations. But honestly, the majority of you can benefit greatly from just some very simple exercises. And these exercises can be done with no equipment. They can be done at home in an office, basically anywhere. So today I'm going to show you four glute exercises that'll help develop that glute strength and stop you from swaying in your golf swing. All right. So before I get into the four exercises, the first step is to understand whether or not you have appropriate glute strength. All right. So the last video I posted was about a simple test that you can do that will evaluate whether or not you have appropriate glute strength. It's a simple test takes less than a minute. So I'm going to leave that link down below. Go give that test a try right after this video and make sure that your, that your glutes are, are stable and strong. All right. Now, Obviously we want to prevent swing faults, but we also want to hit the ball further. And the way we do that is through glute strength. So the first two exercises I want to show you are going to focus on your glute maximus. All right. Now, one of the, the simplest and, and most popular glute max exercise is the glute race. And I'm not going to get into that today. I feel like it's kind of overdone, but I do feel like there's a lot on social media. I read it all the time and people are like, Stop doing the glute raise. It's a waste of time. Listen, when you go watch the video about the test for, for glute strength, you're going to find out that two thirds of people of amateur golfers can't do a single leg glute raise for 10 seconds. Now, if two thirds of people out of 18,000 people that the Titleist Performance Institute tested out of 18,000, if 12,000 people can't do a single leg glute raise for 10 seconds, I'd say it's a pretty important exercise. So before you start loading up all these glute exercises, you have to be able to do the movement. So master the basics before you start progressing onto loading it. All right. So glute raise, great exercise, bilateral, move into single lateral. You can increase it with increase the resistance with bands, barbells, dumbbells, all sorts of stuff. But today I'm going to show you two exercises that are a little bit different. The first is called the cook hip lift. So all you need here is just a, a ball. I'm going to use a tennis ball. And this is very similar to the single leg glute raise. But what this does is it helps you get into the proper position and alignment. So I'm just going to take this, this tennis ball and I'm going to place it right here on my hip. And when I squeeze my hip here, it's going to sort of give me feedback and keep my knee in the proper position. All right. What this also does is it sets my pelvis into the correct position. So now from this, all I'm doing is I'm just doing a simple glute raise up and back down. Hold at the top for a second and back down. You should only feel that in your glute. No cramping in the, in the hamstring or the lower back. So that's the cook hip lift, simple exercise that you can do. These, these exercises that I'm showing you today, you can do them every day. The next one I'm going to show you is, is a quadruped, quadruped hip extension with knee flexion. All right. Don't worry about all the words there. I'm going to show you exactly what it is. You're going to get into a quadruped position. So your hips are right above your knees, shoulders right above your hands. And all you're doing here is keeping your knee flexed or extending back. Straight back, squeeze at the top. What you want to avoid in this is getting extra extension in that lower back. So you don't want to get too high where you start getting extension. All right. So it's just a nice glute raise. Your quad should be about 
parallel to the ground at the top. Okay, again, eight to 10 reps, both sides, one to two sets. Now, the next two exercises I'm gonna show you are gonna focus on your glute medius, okay? And this is important for lateral stabilization, all right? So the first exercise is called the clamshell. And you're gonna lay on your side with your knees bent at 90 degrees. <clears throat> Rotate your pelvis so that you're in a nice neutral position. If you need a pillow, foam roll, sometimes I, I'll just use my hand here to prop my head up a little bit. And all I'm doing here is I'm taking that top leg, raising it up, and you'll feel a contraction here in the glute med. Back down. Up, squeeze at the top for a second, and back down. Okay, now with this one, to add resistance, you can use one of these handy little mini bands if you have them. This is great for adding a little bit of resistance to the exercise. Throw these around, around your knees. Again, get in the proper position with that pelvis in a neutral position, and now raise up. And that adds a little bit more resistance there. All right, same thing, eight to 10 reps, one to two sets. All right, and the fourth exercise is also for your glute med. This is an isometric single leg wall lean. All right, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna stand parallel to the wall, about six inches to a foot, a foot away. This is gonna be our stabilizing leg, the outside leg. All right, so this is the glute med that's gonna be working here. All I want you to do is flex your hip to 90 degrees with your knee bent, and that's gonna press up against the wall, all right? Now in this position, I want you to push with this foot into the wall and press with this knee and this foot into the wall. And you'll feel that contraction and that glute med, which is now stabilizing your pelvis in this position. So I want you to just hold this position for five to 10 seconds and do about five reps on each leg. Just come down, reset, give a little bit of a rest, back up, really push that foot into the ground, pushing it into the wall. All right, so four great exercises right there to help with your glute strength and stop you from swaying in your golf swing. What I need you to do now is go down in the description and click the link that says bridge with leg extension test. All right, watch that video. It's a simple test, it takes less than a minute. It'll inform you whether or not you have the proper stability and strength in your glutes to avoid a swing fall, all right? Because glute strength can be correlated to any one of the 12 swing falls that there are. All right, so go down there, click that, watch that. Now, if you need some more glute exercises, there's a video right here. Great video, give you a variety of different glute exercises to help you build up that glute strength and stop you from swaying in your golf swing. All right, I'll see you next time for a new golf fitness video. Take it easy.